Hello everyone, Professor Piyush here. This is a training video to learn how to make virtual tours using Google Earth. Yes, you heard me right. You can create walkthroughs, flythroughs of different places or your site or any landmark and others. And you can directly export those tools in ultra high definition videos directly from Google Earth. So let's start and see how it's done. In front of you is a sample virtual tool of the Eiffel Tower. Here you can see different elements required to combine together and create a high resolution video. Place markers are used to give connecting points to the tool and by combining those place markers, a tour is recorded within Google Earth. Further, the same recorded tour can be exported in ultra high resolution video files. Now I will recreate the same tour and go through all steps in detail. First, let's delete the previous place markers and recorded tour. Or you can directly delete the folder in which these files are created. You can recreate this folder during the process. Step 1. Let's add a place marker and start creating our scenes. Our starting part of the tour can be named scene 00 or any other nomenclature is also fine. Now let's search for our destination which was the Eiffel Tower. It will take you to the side with a small red marker on it. We can make this our first stopping point of the tour and name it scene 1. Now about the markers. If you see when we select any scene or move around different scenes, the place markers which are yellow in color and the destination or location marker which is red in color are also visible and change their size accordingly. But to get clean video output, we need to get rid of these markers or hide them during recording. To delete the location marker or the red marker, we can use the close button in the search panel. But remember, only do that after you have saved this position by using place marker. And to hide the yellow place markers, we just have to uncheck the box of My Places in the Places panel. It will hide all the place markers without removing the saved positions or scenes. Now we are ready to set our other scenes in a similar manner. Remember, these scenes are just stopping points. You can stop the tour at any point while recording and can add some more details into it like some street views or some specific area you want to explore and show it as a part of the tour. Whatever activity you will do when the recording is on will be recorded in that tour and saved. We will see later in this video how it's done. Step 2. Our scenes are ready. Now it's time to record our tour using the tour recorder tool in Google Earth. You can access the tour recorder tool from the menu bar which looks like a video camera. We can select the recorder tool. We can see that a panel will appear at the bottom left corner which has a recorder button and a microphone button with time display. Now to record our tool, we will press the recorder button and it will become red which means the recording has started. Now it's time to go through our scenes one by one so that all activity is recorded. You can track the time of your tour which is getting displayed in the recorder bar below. Also, if you want to narrate while recording, you can use the microphone to do the same. Let's say while going through the tour, you missed a few points to cover. You can add those points in your tour by using your mouse to zoom, rotate and pan. All these activities happening which you can see on your screen are getting recorded without the mouse cursor. That way you get clean video output. Now let's complete our tour by going through all the scenes and end it from where we started. It's time to stop the recording. When you do that a video preview bar appears which shows you the whole recording as one video. You can go through it once again to see for any updates or corrections. You can also use the loop button to see the video preview continuously. I will recommend you that you make your tour by going through a maximum of three scenes at a time. 
because if there are more scenes in a single tour, sometimes there is a glitch when Google Earth combines all those scenes into video. It doesn't happen all the time, but it's better to avoid at the first place. Later, you can join those clips and create one single video. Now, to save this tour, hit the Save button in the Video Preview bar. In the pop-up window, type the name of the tour you want to save. Once it's saved, you can see the tour will appear in the Places panel having a video camera icon. Step 3. Exporting the video. Now our tour is ready. We have checked everything in the preview. All good. It's time to export the same tour as a video file directly from Google Earth. For that, go to the Tools menu in the list. You will see a Movie Maker option, but it's showing grey. We can't access that. It is because our video preview bar at the bottom is still active. So we have to close that first and then again go to the Tools menu. This time the Movie Maker option is active. Select that and you will see a window pop-up of Movie Maker. Here you will get different controlling and settings option for your video. You can also record only the mouse and keyboard navigation if you don't want to create scenes. We have created a tour, so we will select that tour from the drop down list. Right now, we have only one tour on the list. You can create multiple tours, and all will show in the list here. Provide the location to save your output video file. Set your video resolution in which you want to export your video. We can get ultra high resolution video from this having a picture size of 3840 by 2160 pixels. We can also set the file type in which we want the tool to be exported. It can be MP4 or image sequence in JPG and PNG. Keep the picture quality to the maximum for better results. Now we are all set. Let's start creating the movie. The ultra high resolution video takes more time as it has to combine more high resolution images all together and then create a video out of it. So definitely it will take more time. So you can choose your export resolution accordingly. If you what kind of application you are going through or where you're going to use that video later. Based on that, you can choose your export resolution. It will record the whole tour again and join all images in ultra high resolution because we selected that as our export resolution earlier. Now let's see our final output. You can see the quality of the video. It's ultra high definition. It's super clear. The file size of this two and a half minute video is 12 GB. If you want to edit some of the tour settings, there are some advanced settings that you can access on Google Earth and make your tools more attractive and engaging. For that, go to the tools in the menu bar, select options in the window pop-up, there is a tool tab. Under that tab, you will get all controls regarding tools in Google Earth. You can set the time between two features or two scenes in our case. Even we can control the waiting time on every feature. This is just one of the way which I have shown you in this video by which we can create tools in Google Earth. But there are so many other ways by which we can create tools in Google Earth as well, like by using lines or by using a track. All these will be covered in another video. All these below settings which you are seeing right now are related to that. I hope guys this training video was helpful and by this you will be able to create some interesting tools of your site. Feel free to put your doubts and thoughts in the comment section please. See you again with another Google Earth interesting application. Thanks.